Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Amy. And welcome back to Creative Side DIY. If this is your first time visiting us, we are two teachers who are earning money to pay for our daycare bill. And today we have a really quick, easy flip for you that would be perfect for a beginner. We'll be taking a Thomasville dresser that we got for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. And we're using the paint couture in the color angelic to transform it into a new piece. This dresser was in terrific condition, so this is why this video is perfect for a beginner flipper. Uh, finding a good piece of furniture is the first step to having a successful first flip. So um, getting something that needs a lot of work may be a little bit harder and maybe not the thing you wanna do in your first flip. So watch what we do with this nice piece of furniture to turn it into a quick uh, 100 bucks. Now's a good time to like this video or subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet and hit the notification bell so that you get all of our future videos whenever we upload them. Step one is to take out all of the drawers so that you can take the hardware off of the front of each drawer. We like to keep all of our hardware in a plastic bag so that we don't lose any of the pieces, especially the screws on the back. This hardware is unique. It has this little piece nailed on, so I'm using a screwdriver to pry it up and I'm using a towel so that I don't damage the drawer behind it. Sorry with a 220. So the 220 that I was referring to is 220 grit sandpaper and that's what I'm using here on the top of this dresser. The purpose of sanding is so that you give your paint something to adhere to. Uh, if there's a gloss or any kind of top coat uh, on the dresser, a lot of times the paint will not stick to that. After sanding, it's really important to clean your face really well. You want to make sure that all that sanding dust is totally gone uh, because that's going to allow you to have a smooth paint finish. So we usually go with a wet towel and then after it dries, we'll follow up with a tack cloth to get every tiny little piece of sawdust gone. We like to sand outside because it gets pretty messy. It's really hard to get that sawdust back out of wherever you are. So now that we're done sanding, we're ready to prime and paint. We're moving it back into the garage so that we don't have to touch it anymore while it dries. We're putting in our bench shellac primer here. It needs to be stirred. Oh my goodness. So the reason why we need to put this on is because we are using white paint. And when you use white paint on wood, sometimes the stain will bleed through the white. So doing this primer coat will prevent that from happening. And uh, you'll actually probably see some of the stain coming through this primer once we finish and we can just go over those little spots and i've got on my hands this stuff is gross if it gets on you it doesn't want to come off it's good stuff but it is uh the bin primer it is the ultimate stain blocker according to the camp but now we've used it and it's it is great stuff it will block your stain block your colors that are under there if you've got other paint I'm rolling this on because I like rolling. It's a lot faster than painting with a brush. Some of you are brushers. Brush on, my friends. Uh, but I'm going to roll because that's how I roll. And 
while you're rolling this on, you want to roll it on smooth, just like you would brush smooth, because any uh, streaks will that come up now will show in your final product. So unless you send them out after you do this, and it's not a problem. If you end up with streaks after the primer coat, you can always send them out. But um, you want to try to get as few of those as possible when you're rolling on. The only way to end smooth is if you start smooth. Now one thing we're doing with this piece is we are painting this piece a test color for a larger set that we have. So about a week ago, Amy and I found this awesome French provincial set that we want to flip. It's a tall dresser, a long dresser, a nightstand, actually a pair of nightstands and a headboard and uh, we've seen sets like this oh it's also Thomasville brand and we've seen sets like this on Etsy go I mean two and three four grand on Etsy and uh, so we know we got a good deal on this piece or on this set so we want to make sure we do a great job on it so we wanted to test the color that we're planning to use on it on this set because or on this dresser because this dresser is actually the same wood it is thomasville and uh, we can paint it just same so we can see how it turns out with that paint color to see if we want to put it up use it on that entire set now you may have just noticed i rolled over an old water stain and we sanded this down and you can see that from before we, we sanded this down just a little bit not too much because it was actually still pretty smooth so don't want to overdo it with sanding. You can. I have done it many times. And the product is never as good when you sand down all the way to the wood. So just do the lightest sanding as possible on each piece you do. Now if there's damage, you gotta get that out. But if not, you don't need to sand everything down to the wood. That was my motto for a while. <laughs> I learned. Okay, I'm gonna quit being lazy with this roller and actually brush these little pieces. Although these other spots I've done have turned out green, turned out just fine. I got a little bit of run in that corner. I'll fix that with a brush. But the one thing, I hate to switch to a brush on this because the bin shellac, although it works great, it will ruin your brush and roller. You get one use and it's done. Just a heads up in case you run into that problem. After the primer dries, we do a quick sand and two coats of the color that we chose. And it's the same process as putting on the primer. You can roll or brush. <laughs>
Now that we've got two coats of paint on top of the primer, it's time for the top coat. The top coat is really important because it adds to the durability of your piece so that the paint doesn't chip and it stays beautiful longer. Um, and it's also the final product going on your piece. So you've got to make sure that it goes on super smooth and even. So definitely don't rush through the top coat. It can be hard because it is clear, um, but you can kind of see in this shot that it gets shiny right when you're putting it on. So really try to be careful and make sure that it gets all over. We usually use a flat top coat because we like that matte look, but you can get anything from flat to super glossy. We decided to go with black for this hardware because it's really cute hardware, it's really unique. Um, and I wanted it to really stand out and I wanted you to be able to see the unique features on it. <laughs> So we listed this dresser for $225 and we ended up selling it for $175, but there's a reason for that. We um, actually ended up getting two uh, matching French Provincial sets, which were taking up so much space in our garage that we actually ended up reorganizing our garage but um, because we needed to do that to make room. Uh, but we were ready to clear out a few things, so we ended up selling this very quickly for $175. So our profit on this was a quick, easy $100. It's another $100 towards our monthly goal of $1,300 uh, to pay for our daycare bill. So uh, I encourage you to look forward to see what we do with these French Provincial sets because they are really, really nice. One is Bassett, the other one is Thomasville. Um, I've already shown you the Thomasville one that we bought for a hundred bucks. You're not gonna believe how we got the Bassett one. So. Tune into our next episode to see how we got that. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.